Today we're going to be talking about easily, hands down, one of the most powerful tools that's in DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump in and check it out. All right, so now that you're in DaVinci, the first thing you're going to need is a fusion composition. If you don't know how to get a fusion composition, go ahead to effects and type in here fusion and grab it here and bring it into the timeline. So we're gonna jump into the Fusion page and grab a background node. Go ahead and connect your background node to your media out and drag your media out down just so we have some organization. Go into your background and adjust the alpha value so it's all the way down so that way you are left with a transparent background. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna need some sort of image or video to create an animation. In this case, I have an image of lemons and we're just gonna connect that to our background here. And as you can see, it's nice and zoomed in and you can only see a little bit of the photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit shift space on our keyboard, type in transform. Now we're gonna change the size so that way we zoom out on the lemon. Next thing we're gonna do is create some sort of animation. But what I have for this video is this lemon photo and we're gonna come to the first frame and jump into our transform node and set a keyframe on the size. Now we're gonna go to frame 20 and we're gonna set another keyframe and we're just gonna zoom in a lot. That way, this is gonna create a very quick animation. If I play this back, you get something like this. So as you saw, the animation is quick, but it's linear. It really doesn't look very smooth. And that's where the spline tool comes in. We're going to highlight our transform node and click up here where it says spline and that's gonna open up a window like this. You might be greeted with a checkbox on the transform that is unchecked, so you're gonna to wanna to select whatever tool you have and check it off and hit show only selected right here. Now that we have that, you can hit this guy that says zoom to fit, and now we can highlight our keyframes in two ways. You can either hit Control A on your keyboard, that will select everything, or you can come down here below them and just drag a line across and select both of them. Now, it's very simple to smooth out your animation. All you're gonna do is come over here and hit this guy for smooth. Otherwise, you can hit S on your keyboard. And now you're gonna get an animation like this. So, as you compare the two, it's a lot smoother than the first one, but that's not all you can do in the spline tab. If we pop back into our transform and we go ahead and select our keyframes right here, maybe you wanna do something like this where your animation steps in. Now check out the difference here. As you just saw, once it gets to frame 20, it zooms right in, doesn't give a second chance, just goes right to the zoomed in version. Really different, right? So if you wanna make things more creative in the spline tab, we can. It's completely customizable. So I'll come in here and I'll select our keyframe. I'll hit S on our keyboard to smooth them out. And then we can come into the middle here. And now we can come down here to ease and we can select any one of these options to create a completely different animation. And then we can select Outback Cubic, see what this does. So this one zooms in and then creates a bounce. It bounces back, which is great. But if that's not what you're going for, we can get this even more customizable. We can come in here, select our keyframes. We can hit S on our keyboard again. You don't even need to press S if you don't want to. It just makes it easier for me. Now we can grab onto the individual handles and adjust them any way that we want. So if we wanna create some sort of bounce again, we can drag it upward like I did and come back to the beginning and watch what this does a more powerful bounce. Let's say you just want everything to be really smooth. So we'll come in here, we'll select Control A and select everything. We'll hit S on our keyboard and then we'll hit T. Now you have the option to adjust the ease in value of your animation and the ease out value of your animation. So I'll go ahead and I'll crank these both up to 100 and check out how powerful this is. As you can see, it zooms in really fast and it eases in and it eases out and it does it right in the middle of the video. So 
The spline tool is a very powerful tool within DaVinci Resolve. You guys now have all the power to unlock the full capabilities of the tool. If you guys got some value out of this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and we're on the road to 10K subscribers. I need your help getting there. So slap the like, slap the subscribe button, and don't forget to comment down below what you guys want to see next time in DaVinci Resolve.